How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. I thought we'd do a little bit of a haul video again with you guys. So I have something to share that I purchased here and there. So if you guys are interested in sticking around and see what I picked up, keep on watching. I feel like I might have some things missing from this haul. I really do because I have picked up so many different things, so many palettes, so many products, different things here and there that I hadn't, I have not had a chance to film when I got them. So you're talking around my birthday and on, I've been purchasing things here and there from then. And I know there's products that I have not gotten a chance to show you guys. And some of these are QVC. I did make several purchases on QVC when they were having like a six easy pay. I did order a couple things from Ulta. And then I think one thing here of a lip product I picked up in the drugstore because I wanted to try this lip product out because everybody's been raving about them. I picked up one of the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. You know, everybody's been showing them, they're raving over them, and you know, a lot of people are loving them. Mine is not in number 15, Lover. There you go. The Doe Foot applicators on these are really nice. I do like them. They kind of remind me of the L'Oreal lip gloss. I don't even remember what the name of them name of them were, but it almost reminds me of that really pretty this is the one and this is the color i wore in my video where uh, i was just doing a what i'm liking and not so much not long ago uh, this is the color that i had on my lips and i have to say i am really liking them when it dried up after a while and it was on my lips that for a good while it does stain your lips it does stay it doesn't like just very little minimum whatever wears off but honest goodness i had a glass of water and everything and i was showing my husband like taking a drink and the color was still pretty good on my lips and there was no lip mark and i was like oh my gosh like very very minimum if it does happen but these are really nice but i guess since we're on to lips I'm going to stick in that mode here a little bit. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to go by, I'm going to tell you what, where I got it at, but I'm just going to stick in that category. So I might have some lips that I got from QVC and some from Alta. All right. So QVC, I've never tried the company Wonder Beauty, Wonder Beauty or whatever it's called. And they were having some deals and some specials going on. These are, these are double, double ended. The cases are really nice, as you can see from them. They're really nice. There, there is their Wonder Beauty. And I want to try their foundation. They have a powder foundation and they have a stick foundation. Uh, and I want to try some of their eyeshadows too. They have some liquid eyeshadows that looks pretty nice. So the one, this one here, and like I said, they're double-ended. This one here is BTS. I think I love this color. I think that's the name of the shade. If I could get a whole size of this, they're they're not real big, as you can see. They're a little bit minis, but I mean that's a good bit of cigarette. Say what? Where did I get that from? There's a good bit of lipstick there. So but I love this color. This this is a favorite color overall in general I think for me and they glide on really nice there it is right there isn't that pretty oh so that is BTS the shade on the reverse side is called Expeditionist and it's a little more of a deeper color looks like a mulberry you know like a mulberry shade that's what it kind of looks like to me but there it is that's pretty so those are the two you get on that set. So the other set on the one side is called Girl Boss. I think these are more neutral shades. So this one's called Girl Boss. So there's Girl Boss. That's a pretty color. That's like a brownie nude. The other shade on the other side of that is called Misbehave. I think it's called Misbehave. It's more of a lighter nude. So there it is there lighter nude 
don't always pull them ones off too well, so but that's misbehave. So those are the four shades there. Then they had where you could get two of their their crayon lip and cheek gel. So they consider these lip and cheek gel, these products here. And along with that set, you got their all famous uh, Wonder Beauty unlashed volume and curl their mascara, that mascara. I've heard different people share the mascara. So these are lip and cheek um, crayons. This one's called Island Hop, this color right here. It's a really pretty pink shade. Right there it is. So you can use it on your lips or on your cheeks. I've actually put these in my purse. And then this other one is called Pink City. So Pink City is a little more of a neutral pink. Right there it is. So there are those two. And this is the, I didn't take the mascara out and I didn't take the wand out. What I'm going to do is I have several videos I'm working where I'm going to do uh, share things with you. I have that face mask I'm going to use yet. It's supposed to be like a primer slash face mask. Uh, there's a concealer I want to use and try with you guys. And then this mascara here, I want to demonstrate with you guys, similar to how I did my CoverGirl one where I have you no know, eyeliner or eyeshadows or anything like that on. Just put this on so we can see how well it works. I've heard great things about this mascara and it's in this kind of a tube like this here. So I'm curious. It's supposed to do both volume and lengthen, so we shall see, but I got that in the whole set. Lipsticks, again, I'm wearing it today, but I do have a lip gloss on top of it. I put this lip gloss from Milani on top of this lipstick, and they don't actually have these anymore. Dolicio, Dolicio, one of their, um, it was their Brilliant Shine lip gloss, and it has like that duochrome effect to it. I got one of the Vice, Urban Decay Vice lipstick and from the Heated Collection the, from the uh, Naked Heat Palette. I didn't get the Naked Heat Palette yet. I'm on the fence with it yet. I might get it at some point since it's not a limited edition. Usually when palettes sometimes are a limited edition, I try to go for them first if I know that a new palette comes out and it's not going to be limited kind of how I've been doing it but now the shade I got was fuel because that was the one that caught my attention because it's supposed to be a peachy nude it is quite more neutral than what I thought it was gonna be the other ones didn't call my name I didn't really care for the other two colors you know because I do I'm starting to like the Urban Decay lipsticks I'm not always big on Urban Decay eyeshadows and other things but there it is so it's not bad I was expecting a little bit different but I do like it. The casing is super cute. I mean, just that alone in itself. So that's what I have on my lips. If anybody wonders, and like I said, these Milani, I was looking for them the one day because somebody had asked about something on my lips and I couldn't find this on there. So I couldn't quite tell them to get it because I don't know where you can get them at. While showing Urban Decay then, uh, and I got that at Ulta, as a matter of fact, I got this as well from the collection and again at Alta, and it's one of their eyeliners. The one I picked, they have one that's more of a terracotta color, I think, and then this one's the one I wanted that they have that's more of a burgundy. It's called Alkaline. That's it right there, and oh, I just thought that was so unique and different and pretty. We're still in Alta. I feel like there's a couple things I'm missing from Alta but I think it's the cleanser that I showed in my, uh, what I'm liking, not so much the Derma E. I did make an, and I did purchase that with this order. So I think that should have been in here, but you've seen it in my, what I'm liking, not so much. If not, I'll put a link to that down below. I've wanted to try cause they were having a sale on stuff. They were only $7 for these. Usually they're like 12 or 15 or something. And it's the Butter London, you know, their shadow duos. Thing. Now, I don't have anything to put these in right as of yet, but I'm going to work on it and 
I possibly might try some more of their eyeshadows. I'm kind of liking these. This is called the Plush Pastels. Oh my goodness, these are the colors right here. Right there. This is like a beautiful, like, yellow color. This, obviously, you can tell it's like a purple mauve shade. It is gorgeous. So there they are right there. Whoops, right there. And they're really pretty. I like them. So and then I got this for free. I was super excited. I some kind of special where you bought something or bought so much and you got this little deluxe of one of the buxom eyeshadows and they are nice because I've swatched them different times and want to make a palette. Have thought about that because you can make your own palette. You can buy their palettes. You can make your own palettes. This one caught my eye several different times when I was in the store. This one, and then there's like a gold color too. I'm, I'm prone to golds. I don't know what it is, but I'm prone to the golds. Well, they are gorgeous. Let's just face it. This one's called La La Lavish. So it's like a lavender duochrome. I mean, first of all, look how cute. <laughs> a little mini me. It's like a, yeah, it's a little mini me so super cute so you get this little eyeshadow in here oh my goodness i thought about doing that lot uh mauve lavender shade from the um butter london eyeshadow that i just showed you i thought about putting that on and then topping it with this to make it pop even more Ooh my goodness oh my word so that is beautiful so i really like that it flashes off like a blue and oh it's just it's beautiful i can't even pink blue and whatever so it's really nice back into qvc i ordered Becca, it's from Jaclyn Hill's collection. They have Becca on QVC now. And this is one of those uh, uh, duo pans. And I was so glad I got this one because I was debating at first because there's some of their blushes that came in her kit that I, I wanted to get her blush palette. Well, this one here has um, Prosecco Pop uh, highlighter and Amaretto blush. Oh, like here's the packaging first of all. So it's more different than the other, you know, ones they have out. There's the Prosecco Pop and then Amaretto. And I just thought that was so pretty because you could wear it anytime. Like it wasn't, I don't really pay attention or go by what to wear for fall, spring. I mean, like I do and I don't. I still break the rules, bend the rules, whatever you want to call it. But this is like a neutral color in a blush that you could wear anytime, goes with anything and all that jazz. So here's Prosecco Pop, the highlighter. So it's a little more different than her. It's more golden color to it than her uh, Champagne Pop. Champagne Pop is more of a peach. There they are together. And also, when you ordered that on QVC, the nice thing with QVC is you always get something like brushes. So I did get a nice brush. And this, this is a really nice one. I really like it. I mean, it's really nice and uh, just soft. I like that. Oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> uh, then in Ulta, this was with another shipment. I did get the Beauty and the Beast set, but I just got the blush and the eyeshadow. The palette, I'm telling you guys, this is still available as far as I know still. I think this is a really nice palette to pick up. If you are a collector, if you're a Beauty and the Beast fan, I did pick up the Pirates of the Caribbean as most of you know, but it has like this Velcro part there. And the eyeshadows are, whoops, and the eyeshadows are very pretty. I mean, it opens up like a book. There's like a brush that comes with it. And when it does open up as a book, it has like a nice mirror there on that side. It even has like this thing here 
that like you would put in a book as the book marker. They have that there. And then there's your shades all there. And they're really pretty, really, really, really pretty. And here is the blush palette. Now I know Tati and no, I think it was just Tati that I seen wasn't so keen on this blush palette and at first it almost made me think on it like do I really want it because you know when she was swatching them and then just making them sound whatever you know I don't usually always I do go by by some people's recommendations and then sometimes I don't sometimes I'll make the plunge and either regret it and be like okay I get you know like yeah I should have never done it or sometimes man I'm glad I did because I love it you know because we all have different different things we like I was so glad. I would highly recommend getting this blush palette, if anything, out of the whole set. The lipsticks are really nice too, but this blush palette is super nice and cute. I mean, the colors in there, these are the two that are, well, this is like a highlight right there. And then this is like a shimmer kind of blush. And then these two are like a matte blush on the end. And oh, they are just adorable. And here's the covering that goes on it. So it's like roses. And it is, they're just, they're beautiful. I would highly recommend getting the blush palette. You know, if you've never tried their blushes and their highlights, you get at least one highlight in there and then three other blushes. And so that is everything that is enough, as I always say. Thanks so much, guys, for joining me. I really appreciate that. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can come join me each week. Uh, you do want to click the subscribe button as well as the bell. The bell uh, will notify you by email of when my new videos are uploaded and ready to watch. So make sure you click both of them. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.